Welcome, students. We are going to be drawing the overlapping lines um, for our labyrinth. I'm using a felt tip marker. Uh, it's got a very nice felt edge on there, as you can see. And we are going over all of our pencil lines very carefully, very slowly. And I want to make sure I get all of them. I need to be extra careful because if I accidentally bump my hand, I might close off an area that I didn't like initially intend to close off. So I need to make sure I'm being very careful and as precise as possible. Need to be as neat as a pin. <laughs> And it's okay to rotate your paper every now and then so that you can gain control of where you are. See, I can move my paper where I want so that it makes it easier for my hand to stay still. If I wasn't able to move my paper, my arm and my hand will have to more cumbersomely move around the paper and I might have more of a chance to make a mistake. Really focus on controlling your motion with your tools, okay? It's going to take a lot of focus. Especially these long lines, you really need to be watchful and very slow and careful. You also can use a ballpoint pen. That works really well. You could use a Sharpie, but Sharpie's got a lot thicker lines, usually because the tip is a little bit more broad. You can see comparatively how much thicker that line is compared to the lines I've been doing. So, you know, find a tool that is nice and dark and black but it's gonna work well with the size of your maze. Since all of my lines are kind of close together, I know that I need to have a little bit thinner or a finer tip on my tool. All right. I think I'm gonna stop right there and I will show you what my labyrinth looks like when it's all done in black and white. And then I will show you in the next video how to solve the labyrinth as if you were the player. All right, I'll see you in the next video.